Hello, so today we're going to do a quick run through of a custom programming with the Genesis controller when novice mode's off. So first, we're at the home screen and we're going to press the load button to put a new program in. We can choose between a bisque, a glaze, a glass, or a custom firing. So like I said, we're going to go ahead and do a custom today. Then we've got 12 user programs so that each are editable. You can make any changes that you want to them and save. So I'm going to go ahead and load user 5. Now it's just letting us know that user 5 has been loaded and we can press OK. Now if we'd like to make any changes, you just go ahead and press the edit button. And then it lists out each individual segment for the firing. Now if we want to add or delete segments, we just press on the segment. So we're going to press segment number 2. And we're going to, we can either insert, delete, or delete to end. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a segment. So now you can see we've got five segments and segment number two has been duplicated. Now if you want to make changes to your new segment, you just press on the ramp rate for that segment, make your change, and press save. Same goes for the temperature. If you want to change the temperature, you can either type in a new temperature or you can also press the cone button, scroll to whatever cone number you'd like, and press save. Now you can also change the hold time. And you can also turn a fan on or off for each segment. I'm going to go ahead and delete that segment that I just added. And that's going to take us back to this screen. Now we've got four segments again. Another thing to note, if you'd like to change the name of your user profile, all you have to do is press up here at the top, delete the name, and type in a new one. And now you can see our user 5 name is now Bartlett. Now once you're done making changes here, you can press the graph button and you can see the firing as a graph. Now there's a few things here to notice that in the orange we see each segment of the firing, the white numbers here at the bottom, those represent the time, the white numbers on the left, those represent the temperature, and then the graph itself you see in yellow you'll see an up or down ramp and in green represents a hold. Now once you've made your observations here, we can press the back button. It'll take us to our individual segments again, and if you've made all your changes, you can go ahead and press the save button and save our program. That's it for this time. Remember to check our website for updates, like us on Facebook, and sign up for our e-newsletter for more information and tips. Thanks!